All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. 17 people in the room. How are we doing? How are we doing? Hey, Laura. Let me make sure. Y'all can't even see my, uh, you can't even see my mat. I got a yet another tripod. Hey, can y'all hear me? You ready? Okay. Light hand weights, egg weights, no hand weights. Hey, Berna. Um, okay. Let's see. I really need to angle this down just a little more, you guys. Hey, Miss Jenkins. Okay, egg weight, booty bands, resist a band. Again. Okay, that's good. But I gotta get this up just a little more. I think that's gonna be good. Hey, Erica Gerato. Welcome! We're getting people in the room, you guys. Oh, gotta set my watch. Oh my goodness. Let me set my watch. Okay. Light hand weights, booty band, resist a band. Um, heavy weights, we're doing, oh, ankle weights, ankle weights. We're doing inner thigh, outer thigh and back with heavy, heavy weights. The rest is really light upper body sculpts. I'll hit bicep, tricep, shoulder, chest, back, all of it. You got a mat, you have something to cushion your, uh, your little um, knees if you need to. Hey, everyone. Okay, again, light hand weights. We got six circuits. Three are, three of the circuits are lightweight cardio sculpts. And the other three are a focus on inner thigh, outer thigh, back and core with our heavier weights. Again, ankle weights, resist a band, your booty band. Um, Heavy weights for the back, the inner and the outer thigh. You got your mat as well. Let me come back here and make sure I'm in the frame. Okay, look, y'all. This shirt's so cute, I got it. This shirt says, be you, do you for you. Okay, you ready? Read it. Be you, do you for you. And it says, fitness, company. This is an extra small. Again, our motto, be you, do you, for you. Yes, women, for those that are new here, I always wear my posture corrector. It's in the link in the Fit Over 40 group. I do that because this neck, uh, the muscles in here like to protract forward and up if I'm not wearing my, oh yeah, Laura, I'm going to start getting a uh, shirt motivational shirts yeah I just decided I'm gonna start getting motivational shirts all right let's see what time we got women we got two more minutes we're gonna start with light hand weights you guys I'm gonna be doing my 1.5 pound hand weights our first circuit y'all know we're just getting warmed up nothing too heavy nothing too big we just get warmed up hey Margaret yep 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 you know, I'll figure this tripod thing out slowly. Hey, Miss Ruth. Oh, you got your stability ball? I forgot to tell you, stability ball, stability ball, stability ball. Hey, Sandy, your first live, awesome. So glad you're here. All right, again, light hand weights, stability ball, booty band, resist a band, ankle weights. If you do not have the equipment, you will not worry. It does not matter. You will just work with what you have. Sandy, we do classes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 1030. Yep, yep. Hey, Destiny's Child. We got one more minute. Getting everyone in the room. We're going to start with light hand weights. One pound or... Uh, I'm going to just say one pound, one pound, no higher than one pound, wear your weighted vest. I'm barefoot. Again, if you want to wear your shoes, wear your shoes for you new people, new women. If you ever want to know what's going on with me, new classes, you want to join my meditation classes coming up soon, you have to be a member of the Fit Over 40. 
Body, Mind, Spirit, Women's Community on Facebook. Again, I'll repeat, I put everything, all my most up-to-date classes, uh, my meditations, all of that on the Fit Over 40, Body, Mind, and Spirit, Women's Private Community. I'm not gonna put it out in the public. I'm gonna keep it private. All right, you guys, we're on the dot. We usually take the first circuit, you guys, to warm us up, right? So if you're with me, you know, do you got your one pound hand weights or your 1.5s? I don't want twos, guys. Do not want twos. Oh, I think I'm gonna start with my ones. All right. Oh, you're gonna just give me a deep breath in right here. I got ones in my hands. Deep breath in, a nice big inhale. And a nice exhale, tap it right. Overhead press, oh, you're in circuit one. That's our warm up, right? Now, if you did my rebounder workout yesterday, I'm a little sore, don't know about you. Today is Barefoot Friday. Again, feel free to wear your supportive tennis shoes, okay? Absolutely. Whoo, let's go. We're just warming it up. Keep that bend in the elbow, you're not pushing. You guys, when you warm up, be really kind on your body. Take it slow. Just slowly, gradually get that body warm. Don't push it right out of the gate. Now to the front, hamstring. Kick your heel to your butt. Palm down. I want those shoulders melted away from your ears. Happy, beautiful Friday. Marsha, we missed you today. I know you're gonna be doing this tomorrow, so happy Saturday, Marsha. Judy, if you're doing this, we really, really, really miss you. All right, each move is one minute. So I'm gonna keep it really simple. So I don't want you to think too much about this. Just want you to start getting in that warm up. Breathe it through, palms down, just palms down. Start to warm up the posterior chain of your body. Those hamstrings, calves, and glutes. Just warming up. Woo. Four, three, bicep curl, heels to the front, up, down. Again, it's a nice gentle warm up today, you guys. Now we will push today, but we're not gonna push the entire class. We did our major push days on Monday and Wednesday, right? So when we do inner thigh, outer thigh, back and core for three segments, those are gonna be the push segments. These lightweight cardio sculpt segments are your feel good yet lightly push section. Got it? So you have six circuits. Each circuit is 10 minutes in the cardio sculpt. It's a feel good push style. All right, so we're in the feel good push style right here. Just getting that body warm, giving me the heels right here. Beautiful bicep curl. Yep, yep. Four, three, give me knees right to left. Press it up and down. Palms come in. Palms are facing in, I should say. Right here. Up and down, palms in. From the side, starting to warm it up. Point the toe as you lift. Point the toe, whoo! I'm really sore from yesterday. Rebounder peeps, it was a good workout yesterday. Yep. Oh, come on. So palms face in. Palms face in. In. Y'all starting to get nice and warm. Warming up the upper body and the lower at the same time. Boom. Come on. Hey. Woo. Say hello. Good morning to your beautiful body. Now we're going to do a little superficial squat, feet hip width apart, down, sit it back, four minutes in, get nice and warm, oh, right here, now we're going to sit it back, we're going to salute, up, pulse, now a little squat, little salute, little squat pulse, up, Little squat, we're not going deep, you guys. Up, right here. 
I told you it's cardio sculpt right out of the gate. You better not have twos or threes in your hand. That's way too heavy. Way too heavy just to get our body warm. It's not too heavy in general, just when we're warming it up. Four more, here we go. Four, three. You're gonna tap it to the side, left to right. Left, right, hammer curl. Left and right. Now we are five minutes in, we can start taking it up a notch. Right here. You can start taking it up a notch. Give me that little hammer curl. Oh yeah. Oh, woo. Starting to break a sweat, right? Starting to feel really good. Really warmed up, you guys. Now you can start taking it up a couple notches. Up to you. If you're still not warm or if you're stiff or tight, go ahead, take the first circuit. Slowly warm it up. Don't over push. You don't want to over push. Up, down, up. It's a beautiful hammer curl. Up and down. We're warming up the lateral sides of your bodies. Yep. Oh, come on. Let's go. Boom. Nice hammer curl. Four more. Here we go. Four. We're going to go over our head. And four and three over our head. Lean. Lean. Right here. Soft bend in that elbow. Don't go in full extension with that elbow. Keep it nice and soft. Woo! Palm faces in and down. Right here. Go to the crown of your head. Woo! I told you, cardio scope style. I know you're getting warm. I know that. Let's go. Boom. Y'all got three minutes left in circuit one. Then we're going into outer inner thigh, back and core. We're gonna use hand weights, our stability ball, ankle weights. We're gonna burn it, baby, with the inner and outer thighs, with the back and the core. Yep, we gotta finish this week off with those three muscle groups. Oh yeah. Four, three, hamstring curl. Throw it up, down, up. Palms face away as your arms lift. Woo, happy, beautiful Friday. You know what? I love this shirt, you guys. Do you, for you. Do you like my post I put up today? It says no excuses. You gotta drop the excuses. You gotta drop the fear. You gotta move forward. Don't be tethered with excuses on your back. Cut the excuses away. It does not matter what the excuses are in your life. Weight loss, working out, um, relationships, your need for this or that. It doesn't matter. It, it applies to everything in life. Yep. Now we're going to do opposite knee, opposite elbow. Are you ready? Start with the left knee. One, two, right here. You want to cross the elbow to the opposite knee. You want that elbow to cross the midline of your body. I really got you warm, you guys. After this exercise, we got one more. We're going to go back into the superficial squat and the salute. And then we're moving on. Yep. Boom. All right, starting to feel it. Starting to get really warm right here. Okay, so circuit two, you're gonna put those ankle weights on. You're gonna have your stability ball. And you're gonna have either threes or fives for your hand weights. We're gonna do back, but we're gonna use lighter hand weights because we're using a stability ball. Four, three. Can you give me the superficial squat? Feet hip width apart. Down. Get your hands by your temples. All right, let's salute. Down, salute. Little superficial squat. Sit back in your heels. Take your fingers to your temples and then out. Wiggle your toes. Sit back in your heels. Back. Yeah. 
four more, and we get to put this away. In four, you're gonna put your ankle weights on. In four, in three, weights go away. Ankle weights come on, head above the heart. Grab your threes or your fives. For back, threes or fives. Grab that stability ball. Grab that stability ball. Woo! All right, you don't wanna do that. All right. My little, my, um, make sure when you get ankle weights, I need a new pair actually, because my Velcro is starting to come off. Okay, 29 people in the room. All right, we're gonna start without our thigh. You can anchor your stability ball on a wall. If you feel you're gonna roll, you can anchor. We're gonna lift this leg for 16. In four, three, circuit two. We're gonna start without our thigh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna run through one more set of eight. 24, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into core. We're gonna roll it out, two, in, two. Come with me, out, two, digging in with your forearms, out, two, eight, more. Here we go, out, two, in, one. Out, two, in, two. Roll it out for two. Pop your head out of your turtle shell. Four more, four more, go out, two, in, two, out, two, two more, two more, two more, out, two, into one more. We're gonna do a plank. Now right here, you have your forearms here. Take one leg out, take the other leg out. We're gonna hold the plank, 30 seconds. Now hips are nice and square. Pop your head out of the turtle shell, right here. Don't worry, we got lots more inner thigh, outer thigh, and back. Come on, 10 more seconds, you guys. Press out and away from the stability ball. Flex your feet, make your core work. Four, three, two, and one. Let's hit that other side. We got three sets of eight. Coming up, again, anchor your ball against the wall if you need that uh, stability. Let's go. One, we got three sets of eight. Two, flex your foot. Three, four, pop your head out of the turtle shell. Five, six, seven, two more sets of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, Six, five, woo, four. We got nice outer thigh work. Yeah. All right, take a break. You're gonna watch me right here. I have, you can anchor your feet against the wall if you want. Out, two, down, two. Now let me show you. You got light hand weight, threes, fives. Okay, this is back work. Again, you can anchor your feet against the wall, you don't have to. We're gonna go up for two, like you have wings, down for two. In four, three, up two, down two, back work. Up, two, you got big eagle wings. Up, two, a lot of back work. You don't need the weights. You can put the weights down if it's too much. Four more, four more. Up, you got beautiful wings, you're opening up, up. Last two, open the wings and come down, woo. All right, now we're gonna row. We're gonna alternate. Again, your feet can be on, anchor to a wall. 
or the floor. It's whatever you want. Sometimes I anchor my feet to the wall. I like this wall. Right here. We're gonna go back into the eagle wings. Up two, down two. You don't have to have weight. In four, in three. Eagle wing, eagle wings. Up two, we've got eight. Down one. Soften in your elbows. Open those eagle wings. Up two, pop your head out of the turtle shell. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Four more, four more. Up two, three more, three more. Eagle wings, up two. Last two, up two. Last one. All right, are you ready? Put the weights, both weights, in one hand. Double up the weight. We're gonna do 16 on this side. Hand can be on the ground or on the ball. We're gonna row in four, in three. Anchor your feet, 16. One, single arm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. We're gonna switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You get a 32 count break. We're gonna go the other side. One weight or two weights. I have both weights in one hand, then we're going into inner thigh. Not yet, anchor your feet against the wall, however you want. In four, in three, other arms, 16, single arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last eight, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, woo, three, two, one. All right, so what you're gonna do from here, get the weights to the side. That's why you have your mat here. Inner thigh work. When you're ready, put the ball between your legs right now. I know you got the ankle weights. Now squeeze in one minute. Pop the ball in right here. Now if you wanna start arms, you can take the pads of your fingers and you can put them on the ground, shoulders off the mat if you wanna work core along with it. But if your upper body's tired, rest your upper body. Pop the stability ball. Focus on the adductors, inner thighs, squeezing the ball, popping the ball. Pop the ball in. That's great inner thigh work right here. Pop the ball in. Pop the ball, pop the ball, pop the ball, pop that ball. You can have your hands by the ball, so if you feel like it's gonna fall, you can um, guide it right here. So you're focusing on the squeeze in, soft bend in your knees right here. You're popping that stability ball, four, three, two, and one. Now, what you're gonna do, pick a side. You're gonna put that stability ball up on the inside of your leg, and we're gonna lift. We're gonna put resistance down with our hand. Last two minutes, here we go. Right here, lift. So here, it's this motion, you guys. Lift, but I have the ball super glued to the inside of my thigh, putting the pressure on that down stroke. Put the pressure on the down. Inner thigh work. So as I push down, let that ball and the pressure of your hand push down. All we have is the other side, and we're going back into cardio sculpt with our booty band. Ankle weights will come away. Woo! So I want the pressure. Press, pull it down. Press, pull it down. Four and three, two and one. Other side. Right here. So let me show you the movement. You're flexing your foot. We're getting the inner thighs. Now we're gonna put that ball, we're gonna rest it on the inner thigh. And we're gonna focus on the press down with the ball. Up, press it down. Don't let your foot touch the ground. Flex your foot. Wow, we're done with circuit two. You're gonna get active recovery for one minute. We're gonna work the booty band. We're gonna work with the booty band. You guys can have two or three 
pound light weights in your hands. I'll do my two pound egg weights. Now again, focus on the press down. Don't let your foot touch the ground. Flex your foot. Focus on the press down for that added extra resistance. You got me? Inner thigh, flex your foot. Working the adductors, ADD adductors. Come on, focus on the press down. Four, three, ankle weights and stability ball. Booty band goes around your side. You guys have one minute though. You have one minute to get yourself ready. All right, stability ball is gone. All right, you're gonna put, okay, we're circuit three, you guys. Grab your one or two pound hand weights. One, twos, or threes, you guys. Absolutely up to you. Get that lightweight booty band on. We haven't worked with booty band in a while. This is cardio sculpt. We're in our second cardio sculpt. Head above the heart. Our heart rate is high, but not like Monday and Wednesday. All right. All you're gonna do is two step touch right, two left. We're just still not there. Okay, you guys got 10 seconds, don't worry. For those of you that are with me, we're just starting already. Ooh, I got my light fabric booty band on. Yeah, right here. Are y'all ready? Okay, now you're gonna come with me, everyone. Right here, shoulders up. Each exercise is one minute. Side movement, right arm, left arm. Hip, knee, toes, pointing forward. Oh, hitting those outer thighs. From the lightweight cardio, sculpt, manner. All right, what did I say? Circuit three of six, wow. Low impact, joint friendly. You're gonna modify any move you need to. Heart rate's starting to come up, I know. Come on, whoo. Four more, here we go. Four, three. We're gonna do no arms and a tap back. Here we go, tap. Let's see how that feels. Now your legs are on a railroad track. Legs are on a railroad track. Tapping back, working the hip extension, glute activation. Thumbs up, thumbs up, up, down. Thumbs up, thumbs up to the ceiling. Your feet are on a railroad track, right here. That booty band should really engage the glute and that hamstring from the side. Keep your legs on a railroad track. A nice tap back with the legs on the railroad track. Can you do that? Let's go. Lightweight cardio sculpt, circuit two of three. Up. Yep, you got it. Four, three. All you're gonna do is give me heels to the front. Let's see what that feels like. You're gonna cross the heels. Cross the heels, got that? Now we're gonna lift behind. We're hitting the rear deltoid. Up, down, up, down. So let me come from behind. So you're hitting the rear del deltoid. Back, and then back to the side of the thigh. Back, down, back, down, back, down. Okay, here we go. I was just trying to show you. You're only taking your arms to the sides of your thighs. Stop at the sides of your thighs. Right here. You're cross tapping the heel. Cross tap, cross tap. Four, three, no arms and toes. Toe taps cross, toe tap cross. Shave the back of your body. Shave the back of your body. Up, down, working the posterior side of that upper body. Really hitting some rear deltoids, a little rhomboids. Shave the back of your body, 
cross tap with your toes, working that tibia alice anterior. Shave the back of your body. Keep your backs of your hands to the back of your body. Shave it up and down. Shave it up and down. Shave it up and down. Hands gotta stay behind you. Yeah? Let's go. Are you cross tapping the toes? You're gonna feel that tibialis anterior work when you point that toe. Point the toe. For four. For three. For two. Can you just march it right to left? No arms right here. Now we're gonna out, in, out, in. We're gonna take the back of our hand up. Yeah, come with me. When you're ready, a little side squat, hand up. Oh yeah, y'all got four more exercises. That's it. You're gonna be done with circuit two cardio lightweight sculpt. Let's go. Side to side, side. It's just a little superficial squat. Remember, your cardio sculpt is your feel good section. And the inner outer thigh, back and core is your push sections, okay? Of course, if you wanna push, go ahead. Your workout, your class, you do it your way all the time. Come on, let's go. One, two, three. You're gonna give me four more, four more. Four, three. You're gonna give me the knees, right to left, no arms. Right, left. Let's see how that feels. How's that feeling? Take your hands up, here we go. In, two, out, two, in, two, out two, hitting the chest. In, two, feet are hip width apart. In, two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, two, out two. Beautiful chest press, in, two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, two, out, two. Keep it up, four, three more. Come on, last two, last one. All right, you're gonna march right to left, no arms. March, feet hip width apart. Right here, we're gonna tap, 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 set. One, two, three, set. One, two, three, set. Come with me, go. One, two, three, set. One, two, three, set. Tap, two behind, three, set. One, two, three, set. One, two, three, set. One, two, three, tap, and then a pause. One, two, three, set. 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 This is it. All right, C curve reaches. One, two, three, up. One, two, Three, these are C curves. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last two minutes, guys. One, two, three. One, two. Moving your body in new dynamic ways today. Yep, we gotta move it. Whoo, yesterday we really moved it in new ways. I'm sore, Laura. One, two, three. One, two, Three. Oh, come on, y'all. We got one more minute. Woo! One, two, three. Soft bend in your elbows. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more each side. One, two. We are going to go in a wide squat. Wide squat. Here we go. Arms up, side, down, down. Up, side. One, two. Up, side, down, up, down. Up, side, down, up, down. Sit in the squat. Up, side, down, up, down. Up, side, 
down, up, down. This is it, you guys. Last exercise, sit back in your heels. Down, up, down, up, side. Down, up, down, up, side. Down, up, down, up, side. Down, up, down. You're gonna get one minute. Active recovery. Up, side, down, up, down, up, side. Woo! Two more. Up, side, down, up, down. One more. Up, side, down, up, down. Put this away. Get those ankle weights back on. Guys, we're gonna do back rows. We're gonna do back rows. So I'm gonna grab my 20 pound uh, barbell. Okay, this is your heavy standing weight section. Inner thigh, outer thigh, back, and core. So I'm gonna put my ankle weights back on. You guys still have 30 seconds. Head above the heart, head above the heart, head above the heart. You're simply putting the ankle weights on and you're getting back into it. Okay, we're gonna do barbell. We're gonna do 16 rows. Again, this is your heavy, 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 heavy section. You're in circuit four. Okay, feet are hip width apart. I got 20 pounds on each side. Shoulders roll back. Take the bar to the knees. You got 16 singles. Here we go. One to the belly button. Two, sit back in your heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. This is for the back. Eight, heavy, heavy. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, big break. When you are going heavy, heart rate gets up there, you need that break. You're gonna just march, side tap, whoo! This is your heaviest part, guys, for inner thigh, outer thigh, back, and core. Okay, we're gonna run through that again. 16 singles, but instead of palms facing in, Palms are gonna face away. Feet hip width apart, shoulder, shoulders rolled back. Palms up, thigh to the belly button. One, two, three. Sit back in your heels. Get those toes up. Elbows go back. Major back work. Eight more, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, you get a big break. Okay, next one, we're gonna hold the bar, we're gonna hold the weight, we're gonna hit the inner thigh. I have a 30 pound in my hand. In four, three, down and up, 24. One, I got 30 pounds. Two, three, four, five, inner thigh. Six, seven, two more sets of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set of eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Okay, you can put the weight down or not. Next exercise, to the side. Holding one weight, holding your barbell. I got that 30 pound, man, I'm working it. Okay, 16 on that right side, here we go. One, soft bend in the left knee. Two, three, four, five, outer thigh. Six, soft bend in the left knee. Seven, hold a heavy weight, man. Really heavy, last eight. Eight, we're gonna go straight on the other side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, automatically. Other side, other side. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, soft bend in the right knee. Last eight, last eight, eight, seven. You only got five minutes left. We're moving on to circuit five. 
Come on. Four, three, two. You get a 32 count break. Woo! We're gonna run through the inner thighs again. We're gonna run through the outer thigh again. And we're gonna hit core. When I say heavy weight, I mean heavy weight. I'm gonna give you one more 32 count. My heart rate is 153. If my heart rate's up, I'm pushing hard. I know you're pushing hard. All right, let's get that weight again. All right, inner thigh. We're gonna do four sets of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four. I got 30 pounds in my hands. Man, you can go more. Two, you got three more sets of eight for the inner thigh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You got two more sets, we're done with the inner thigh. Eight, seven, six, five. We're done with the inner thigh in this segment after this. But you have one more set of eight. One more set of eight, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whew. Take it in. You know we're gonna do 16 on that left side. 16 on the right side, feet hip width apart. Shoulders back down and away from your ears. We're gonna start on the left. Heavy weight, you guys. Last four minutes, here we go. One, two, soft bend in the right knee. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. We're gonna switch to the other side really quick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Other side, right away, other side. One, 16, two, three, four. Soft bend in the left knee. Five, six, seven. Last eight, we'll get a little break, but we're not done. We're gonna hit the back again. We're gonna hit that back again. Single, arm row. You got four, but you get a break. Three, two, break. Woo! I think I'm gonna go to 25. Single arm back row. Single arm back row. Oh no, I'm going to 20s. Single arm back row. 16, here we go. One, two, three, four more. Then palms are gonna face away. Three, palms face the back wall. Face the back wall, palms. One, two, three. You got four more and you get a break. And four, I got a 20 pound in my hand. Three, two, one. Four back, eight back, eight face away. Not yet. Heavy weight, you guys. Whoo! Get ready. Two more minutes. Two more minutes is all I ask. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Palms face away for eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Woo. All right, you guys. Lighter weight, heavier weight. We're just gonna agitate. I'm grabbing a 12 right here. Wide stance, soft bend in your knees. Agitate, side to side. I gotta hit the core from a standing position. Now, I don't care how quick and I don't care how you just agitate as quick or as slow as you want. My little back's hurting a little bit, so I'm not gonna do a fast agitation. Don't move your upper bodies, upper body. You gotta come from the hips. Soft bend in the heels, soft bend in the knees, and your hips are moving. Look, my upper body is like super glue. It's my right and left hip that are twisting. So soft bend in your knees, 
upper body quiet, head out of the turtle shell. And it's, you're going right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip. Your upper body does not initiate the move. Right, left hip, right, left hip. Just think, the only thing that can move are your hips. Everything else is in a cast. So you can turn right hip, left hip, popping your head out of the turtle shell, shoulders back down and away from your ears. The only thing that can move in your whole body is your right and left hip. Right, left hip for four, three, one minute active recovery. Okay, I'm gonna keep my ankle weights on for the last part of cardio sculpt. I'm gonna get my barbell. You guys have 50 seconds to grab water, move around, get what you need. 50 seconds. I like to give you a minute between each circuit. Circuit five is six. Okay, I want you to grab your threes or fives, guys. Grab your threes or fives. You're gonna towel off your space. You're gonna keep moving. I'm gonna grab my fives. And when you're ready, we still got 20 seconds, but you're gonna march it. Now, you don't have to have your ankle weights on. You can grab whatever weight you want. We are in our last cardio sculpt, lightweight section. Whew, breathing it through. I picked up my five pounds and I'm gonna keep my ankle weights on. All right, you've had your one minute of active recovery. You got a clear space. You wiped off all your sweat. We're gonna kick, kick with a toe. Right here, point the toe, right here. Up, down, right here, palms in, kick. I want a toe point as you kick, strong point right here. Circuit five is six, you guys. Rocking and rolling, yeah. Up, oh yeah. So you got a strong point. It does not matter how high, you don't have to kick high. I just want a point. I care more about the point with the toe. Right here. I told you we're gonna work everything. Right here. Strong point for four, three, two. All right, just heels, heels. Now take the heels wide. Take the heels wide like you're rocking on a rocking horse. Up, up, we're doing the left. Up, now just take it up, rocking horse, oh. So it's just that left arm right here. Just pressing up to the right front diagonal. Right here, heels are like a rocking horse, side to side. Just isolating that left arm up to that right front diagonal corner. Right arm, I'm just switching it up, you guys. Just doing that right arm now. Keep that rocking horse. Whew. All right, march it. Right, left. Right here, we're just gonna take the pinkies out to the side and thumbs down. We're gonna go up two, down two. We're gonna keep them march. Pinkies up. Thumbs down, up, two, come to shoulder height, up, two. Yeah, just doing a lot of upper body work. I don't want to focus on the lower. This is upper, just march it. Up, pinky up, thumb down. Pinky up, thumb down. Whew, working those shoulders. Just a nice, beautiful march. Let's go. Couple more. Two more. Pinky up, thumb down. One more. All right, now watch me. Diagonal. Down, up. Touch the back of the room. Cross. Back of the room, we're going slow. Cross. Touch down. Right foot forward, left leg back. Down. And then pivot, turn. Down, pivot, turn, down, 
pivot, turn, down, pivot, turn. Come on, work the range of motion, down. Big range of motion, big discus throw, and then big throw. Exaggerate the arm movement. Come on. Let's go. Down and two, big throw. Down two, a lot of rotation. Asking a lot of your body. Rotational movement patterns. This is it. Now, one, two, no arms. I mean, sorry, no legs. Forward two, back two, forward two. Forward two. One more. Woo! Shake it out. I asked a lot of your body. Rotational movements, diagonal PNF patterns. Heart rate high. Cardio sculpt. Left foot in front. Left foot down. Right arm. Discus throw. Here we go. Down. Two. Up. Just working that other side. Let's go. We only got four minutes left in this cardio sculpt. Let's go. Right arm down. Sorry, left arm down. And then a right big movement. Two more, two more. And we're just gonna do the arms with no legs. Just do the arms. Back, two, front two. Back, two. Front two, last two. Back, two, front two, this is it. Back, two, front two, here we go. Down, up, touch, up, down, up. We're gonna go the other side for four. Right arm to the left side, down, up. Three more, down, side lateral lunge, two more. Side, up. We're gonna alternate side to side. Here we go. Down, up, alternating. Down, up. Two more, two more. Down, up. We're gonna tap the toe right to left. Punch down. Punch down. So that weight, arm comes to the opposite knee. And you get that nice, beautiful side tap. You got two minutes after this. And then we're in circuit six, you guys. Taking it down. Punch the weight to the front of the opposite knee. Let's go, let's go. Whoo! Come on, y'all. We just got like two more minutes left. Let's go, let's go. Woo, right of stair legs. Four, three, two, watch me. Wipe, circle. Wipe, and then a big circle in. So you're circling to the right and in. Circle, 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 big step in. Circle, 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 big step in. Circle, 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 big step in. Keep going. Circle, 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 big step in. Heart rate's high. Woo! Let's keep going, you guys. 30 seconds, other side, and we're done. And then we're done with cardio sculpt. Big circle, and then come in. Big side step, big circle. Big circle front. Wipe the inside of your body right here. Two, three, four, and five. Two more. Last time. Uh, come to the center. One, two, and two. Come with me. This is your last exercise. This is it. So you're stepping lateral to the left. Big circle in. Just wipe your body off. Big circle in, wipe your body. Big circle, wipe your body. 40 seconds, 
We're going to take it <clears throat> down to the ground. Come on, let's go. You're going to get one minute active recovery as well. Okay, if you need a mat to cushion your knees for push-ups, you're going to do that. All you need is your ankle weight, you guys. This is it. Circuit six is six. Two more, two more. Last time. One minute active recovery. One minute, one minute, one minute. All right, let's go. Grab your water, grab your mat. We're gonna start off with military push-ups, do wall push-ups. I'll modify. Modify your push-ups and then we're gonna go into inner outer thighs, back and core. All right, y'all, you got like 45 seconds. <clears throat> you got 40 seconds before we take it to the ground. So I'm gonna give you that time to transition from standing to the ground, small swig of water. Um, you've gotta take that time to transition. We are gonna start with eight military push-ups, down two, up two. We've been doing military push-ups all week. You can come on the wall, you ready? Music's coming. In four, in three, down two, up two for eight. Down, two, up, one. Down, two, up two, you got eight. Down, circuit six, up three. Down two, up four, four more. Down, two, up five. Down, two, up six, two more. Down, two, up seven. Down, two, up eight. All right. Woo! We're gonna pick a side. Any side you want. You know what it's like, side lying up, down. It's just an up and down. Three sets of eight, here we go. One, two, outer thigh. Three, four, five, six. This is it, this is your last circuit, you guys. Two more sets of eight, here we go. Eight, outer thigh work. Nice neutral foot, not pointed, not flexed. Nice and neutral. Focus on the outer thigh right here up down you got one more set of eight for me here we go eight seven six five four three two bottom leg inhale out three sets of eight working the inner thigh flex your foot on this one press the heel in and out press the heel in and out Flex that foot, flex that foot. Two more sets of eight, inner thigh, adductor muscles. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set of eight, it's three sets of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, woo! Four, three, Two and one. Okay, I want you to come lay on your back. Take your legs up. We're gonna take our legs out and we're gonna pulse. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Come with me, 16. Pulse, three, come up, one. This is core and inner thigh. Two, one, two, shoulders off the mats. One, two, Three, four, point the toes. Two, three, five. Got 16. Two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three. That's eight. Eight more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two, two. Pulse it out. One, two, three. One, two, four more, four more, four more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last two, last two. One, two, three. And we're gonna do basic crunches where we pulse up three, feet on the ground, feet on the ground. Pulse up, two, three, down one, 16. Pulse, two, three, down two, shoulders off the mat. 
basic crunches. Pulse up three, down one. Up two, three, down four, 16. Up two, three, down five. Don't pull on your head, neck, or shoulders. Two, three, one, two, three. Pulse up for three, down one, eight more. Up two, three, down one. Five minutes left. Up two, three, down two. Up two, three, down three. Up two, four more, four more. Up two, three, one. Up two, two more, two more, two more. Up two, one more, one more, one more. Up two, three, Woo! other side. We got three sets of eight. Come on, you guys, like five minutes left. Woo! Give you a quick break, three sets of eight. Nice neutral foot, are you ready? Up and down, three sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more sets of eight, you know the drill. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, outer thigh work, two. Last set of eight, last set of eight, eight. You know that bottom leg is gonna go knee in, heel out, three sets of eight. You're gonna flex the bottom foot. We're gonna work the adductor muscles, inner thigh. You ready? And four and three, bottom leg lift, eight. It's that inner thigh that's pushing, flex that foot. Come on, work the inner thighs. All right, two more sets of eight. You can count it. Eight, seven, six. Oh, four more in this set. You can do it. Four. Happy, beautiful Friday, everyone. You got eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lay on your back, three pulses out. It's gonna be a lot quicker. Three pulses out. And then you're gonna crunch for the core. Three pulses out, point the toes, shoulders off the mat. Here we go. One, two, three, come in one, seven more. One, two, three, two, point the toes. Two, three, three, one, two, Three, four, core and inner thigh. One, two, three. One, two, two more, two more, two more. One, two, three, you got one more. One, two, three, grab behind the legs. Come up on all fours. Knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. Lift the opposite arm and the opposite leg. Hold 20 seconds from right now. I'm doing back extension and core work. Let's go, you guys. You're working on your last two minutes of class. You guys got five more seconds, and we're going to switch. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Now, just switch 20 seconds. Nice isometric hold for that back extension. We're going to run through this again, each hold is 20 seconds. You got five more seconds here. Lift that leg, point the toe, and switch. 20 seconds. We're gonna run through this a total of four sets. We're on our second set. It's a 20 second hold. Opposite arm, opposite leg, pop your head out of the turtle shell. Shoulders back down, away from your ears. And now switch. Finishing that second set. Second side. Woo! Come on, y'all. We got two more sets and we are done. Lift that leg. Lift it up. I know 20 seconds is a lot. Four and three. Switch. We're on the third set. 20 seconds. I'm timing it correctly. So lengthen the opposite arm. Lengthen the opposite leg. Engage the muscles of the back. Feel the glute engage. Point the toe. Your nice, 
and long and flexible and switch. While we're finishing that third set, we only are gonna have one more set and we are done. Awesome job, one more set, one more time through. Lengthen the opposite arm, the opposite leg, and now switch. Last time through. And then we're gonna take the ankle weights off. Woo! And you're gonna step back into that child's pose. And now switch. Come on, this is it. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. One more count of eight, and we're done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Child's pose now. I'm gonna switch the music for us, and we're gonna stretch. Let me switch the music. Time to stretch. You have got to stick with me on this stretch, women. Come on, I'm just turning the music to some yoga e style music. <sighs> okay, no, 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 no. No, I don't want that. Okay, guys, I'm coming. Woo! Awesome job today. You're in child's pose. You've got all the equipment off. Oh, just sit back, butt rest in the heels. You're gonna really take these next four or five minutes to really stretch. We really, really, really moved our body. Upward facing dog. Pop your head out the turtle shell. Shoulders back and away from your ears as stretches the front side of your body. Oh, good job. Again, let's go into child's pose. Oh, you get some really beautiful lung expansion in through here. Just wiggle those heel or the butt cheek side to side. You wanna create that mobility in through your hips. You can just wiggle it side to side, unleash it, loosen. Notice where you're tight. Let's come forward, upward facing dog. You gotta really pop your head out of the turtle shell on this one. Stretches the whole entire front side of your body, all the way from your hip flexors. Woo, and all the way your fascia in your abdominal region. All right, let's take one leg forward and let's just get a nice tricep stretch right here. Stretching out the tricep, stretching out that nice, the hip flexor, working on hip mobility right here. All right, you're gonna take your hand down and you're just gonna lift, spinal rotation. Anytime you're in this position, it's good for that spinal rotation, spinal mobility. All right, let's take it back. Nice hamstring stretch. You may feel it in your calf, your hamstring, your glute. You may feel it a little in your back. All right, since we're here, we're gonna turn, walk this toe over to the other side. We're gonna pigeon pose, we're gonna hold it in, and we're gonna come down. So opposite heel is coming to the opposite hip. This is a pigeon pose. This is really great for hip mobility. Just sitting, you can lay down. If you don't have the mobility, you're gonna be up on your hands. Whatever you need. We did a lot of outer thigh today. So that's why I'm doing this pigeon pose right here. Really taking the time to go deeper, to stretch into it. All right, you're gonna place your hands, everyone, on the mat. You're gonna curl that back toe under, downward facing dog. And let's go ahead and stretch the back side of our body. We're in that downward facing dog. And you can lift one heel and the other heel with Call these downward facing dog runners right here. Press into the pads and your fingertips. Try to visualize your chest is coming to the tops of the thighs. Just wave your head yes or no, release. 
All right, we're gonna come to our knees. We're gonna take that other leg forward. You're on that other side, other tricep, other leg. So now we're opening up and through the other hip flexor and we're stretching that tricep all in one go. We're almost done, you guys. Take your hand down and lift the other fingers to the ceiling. Enjoy that spinal rotation. Enjoy the hip stretching. Open, lengthen, elongate. All right, let's take it back. Get a nice hamstring calf. You can even hold on to your foot if you're flexible. And it's gonna really stretch that calf a little more. Really feel this in through the calf, the hamstring, the glute. Now you're gonna look at that leg because we're gonna just come forward. We're gonna take that heel to the opposite hip and we're gonna come them to that pigeon pose on the other side. Just opening it up for that hip mobility again. We did a tremendous amount of work in through our hips today. All right, you're just gonna sit. You're gonna take the left hand on the right knee, look over your shoulder. Other shoulder, spinal rotation. And switch. And one more switch. Chest expansion. Sit up tall, look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Deep breath in. And exhale one more time, one more time, one more time. Deep breath in. And exhale. Whew. Wow. Let me turn off all my equipment. Awesome job today, beautiful women. Turn off those lights. All right. Okay, I'm coming. I'm gonna tell you how many calories it burned. Oh, I gotta get my little, I gotta write what you wanna do for next week. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me up my camera for you guys. Look at my little new readers I got. <laughs> They're anti-blue, anti-glare. These are anti-blue, anti-glare readers. So anytime you're working on your computer, because they say the blue light from your phones, and um, your computers can um, create early onset macular degeneration. So you want to make sure that you're always wearing, oh, thank you, Laura, you're wearing readers that are anti-blue, anti-glare. Okay, 472 calories. 472 calories. Patrice, Kathy, so glad you liked it. Stay on the line with me, though. Um, Sharon. Uh, 2,901 steps, let me tell you, 2,901 steps, 1.43 miles. Tell me, did you guys get worked? <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, let's talk about Monday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh, Gina, the company that makes them, it's on my shirt, actually. Sarah. Oh, you are welcome, Sarah. That's a whole key. Physical therapy, man, we work your body in all directions. Your body just doesn't move up or back or sideways. It moves in all directions. Uh, what The company, my shirt is soaked to, oh, yes, Laura, you're absolutely correct. It is called the Fitness Tea Company, Gina. The Fitness Tea Company. Uh, Fitness Tea E E Fitness T Company. Hey, I got 25 on you on here. Tell me. Cardio formats next week. Every week, man, you guys give me the ideas. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What do you want to do? Talk to me. Let me know what you want. <laughs> 
I'm here for you. I'm going to wait for you women to tell me what you want next week. Week before we did Tabata Hit, this week people want a power walk. I haven't yet done a boot camp style, Brooke. Okay, that might be good for one. Boot camp style women, we haven't done that in a while, have we? Okay, what else are we thinking? It's you women that make the class. Oh, Margaret, functional fitness. I'm warmed up to Rake Lee's. Okay, uh, rebounding with weights. Kelly, I just did one yesterday. Uh, definitely functional fitness. Uh, I will make sure. Boot camp, Kathy, okay. Uh, fascia, tone, fascia training. Oh, good, Kathy. Functional fitness, yes. I need to hit a functional fitness one. Um, the fascia, I could do some foam rolling next week for you guys. Good. Oh, yes, Kelly, you're going to look on there. Yesterday, I just did it yesterday. It's in the lives. Um, we added the Bozu ball and the stability ball. Uh, we kept the rebounding simple, but we added Bozu ball and, and stability ball, and I am really sore. It was a great balance and core challenge while having fun on the rebounder. I called it intermediate in advance, Kelly, not because of the rebounder, not because of the rebounder cardio moves, but because of the bozu and stability ball moves, I was having you do with the rebounder. So you have a little bit of preface of what that was for. Oh, Laura, I loved it. I'm telling you, I am a good sore today, Laura, from uh, that threading the needle on the side with the bozu ball where your leg didn't touch the ground. Yeah, I'm sore. Um, okay, women, what are we wanting? I've heard boot camp. I've heard we want some functional fitness, foam rolling for the fascia to release fascia. Um, I can do that. Any other request? I can come up with a gazillion and one things, but it is you guys that, uh, oh yeah, Sharon, same here. Um, it is extremely difficult unless I'm at a gym lifting very, very heavy to get really, really sore. Uh, but yesterday, I got sore. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we did the rebounding intermediate advanced class, step three risers. Okay. I could do that like in a step cardio interval, step three risers. We could do something like with uh, like a really push style uh, with the step and the three risers where we add more where we add more risers. Or what about this? We start with one riser, we go to two risers, we go to three risers. That's a good idea, isn't it? Just talking to myself. So we start with either none, then you go one or two, or you start with one riser, then two risers, then three risers, and we have X amount of moves. They're the same moves, but by adding the risers with each circuit, uh, one, two, three risers. I think that's a good one. Okay. Uh, we're pretty quiet today, women. I've got 28 people in the room. Kelly, I'll make sure I do that either uh, Monday or Wednesday. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, <clears throat> so, progressive step. Yes, ma'am. That's a good name for it, progressive step. I love that. I've done that before. I've named some of them that. I just forgot that I named it that. Um, oh, thank you, Anna. I'm glad you liked it. I like, man, I love our workouts. I love each week that we absolutely switch it up. Um, I know some people like to do the same thing. I think that's great, but I really do love diversity. I love switching it out, and I'll just hear women say, oh my gosh, Angie, how do you stay so lean? How do you stay so toned? I work out usually 60 to 90 minutes in a day. I work out six days a week. Um, my, my, when you see me do the live classes, I don't work out after that. <clears throat> I will go walk, like walk my dogs a mile or two, but that's a leisure walk. Um, I'm active, oh, Tabata again? Yeah, I can incorporate Tabata. Okay, um, but I usually try to stick to an hour. <coughs> hey Brooke, have a beautiful day <coughs> ahead of you. Um, but yeah, I, I in general work out six days a week. 
um, honestly, 60 minutes. So if I know I'm just going to do 60 minutes, I really want to diversify my workout so my body never really gets used to doing the same workout over and over and over. Hey, Sandy. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Sandy, so just so you know, not that you can hit the lives, but every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, we're hitting different... Uh, muscle, we're working different muscle groups. You're never working the same muscle group on Monday that you are on Wednesday. I'm going to give you an example. Uh, I, I think on Monday we hit quads, chest, shoulders, or something like that in core. Wednesday I hit the other half, and what I haven't hit, I will hit on Friday. So I really mix it up so you're hitting all muscle groups with heavy weights, light weights. You're moving in front and back patterns, side to side patterns, diagonal patterns, and rotational patterns. Um, I am working each joint in its full range of motion. For example, the shoulder goes in flexion, it goes in extension, it goes in internal rotation, it goes in external rotation. So I work all the joints within the range of motion and I work all the muscle groups with heavy weights and light weights in different planes of movement. Very scientifically based. Why I do what I do but you guys don't know that. It just comes through on the camera. And that's just my many, 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 many years of formal uh, college education and um, all my certification. Hey, okay, anything else, women? This is it. I, I plan usually on Saturdays. I'm going to have to put my thumbnail out today. Bit stick. Got it. I'm going to have to put my thumbnail out today, you guys. I'll think of it today. Um, I got these glasses. Gina, I will post it on the Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, and Spirit group. They're $40. They're really top rated. Uh, they are anti-blue, anti-glare. Um, and these are little readers for me because if you've read the research, we are a lot of us are in front of our iPads, computers, uh, phones, and they give off a blue glare. Yeah, you can put like a something on so it doesn't. But um, it is being associated now that the, the glares that are coming off ev everything with early onset uh, macular degeneration. Our eyes are not meant to have that blue glare. Ask me how I know because I went to dinner with a uh, ophthalmologist, not optometrist, but ophthalmologist. He and his wife, my husband knows them. Um, and he gave me an education 101 on um, anti-blue, anti-glare, and that by golly, you want to, if you're not wearing glasses, you absolutely want these on any time you're on a computer, a phone, an iPad, or anything. And he <coughs> showed me all the evidence-based research of early onset macular degeneration. He told me about all the people that were coming in really early uh, with these issues. You have dry macular degeneration and wet. One, you can help. The other, you cannot. He told us what eye vitamin to get on, uh, lutein with it. Xenathen, and he told me, it, I, I think I was in my early 40s, and I was not doing any of this eye care. I don't wear glasses. Like, I don't need glasses. I can see. Um, but when he told me about that and all his patients and the early onset, earlier macular degeneration, he told me this brand to buy. Uh, this is the one, the brand that he recommends, and I bought eight pair. I have one in my living room, <clears throat> three or four in my bedroom, one at my computer desk, one in the kitchen, and my husband is so cute, has even gotten in the habit of, because he was there, hearing it all, wearing the anti-blue, anti-glare. So you will always see him um, wear the glasses as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, um, but it's really important. We, we protect our eyes, and unfortunately, all through my... 30s, I did not. Ooh, yoga, yoga sculpts. Laura, I love that. Yoga sculpts. You know what? We can hold some yoga poses. Yes. 
Yes, I'll put a link in the Fit Over 40 page for these glasses, okay? And then I'll put a link for the eye vitamins he told us to get as well. Not that brand necessarily, but the ingredients that are in it. Definitely I can do that. Laura, I love your yoga sculpt idea. Women, we have not done that in a while. Yes, Anna. And all you got to do, Anna, is research um, what blue light does for the eyes. And you will read all these studies on early onset macular degeneration, how it's just bad for the eyes. And um, you'll read a lot. And everybody, I have my kids on these. I have my kids on these as well. Um, there's my, mine are prescription, very low dose. Um, but I have my kids, like, any time they're on, I'm like, are you wearing your anti-blue, anti-glare? Are you wearing them? Because they've been on their phones since they were teenagers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I can help somebody be simply because I went to a dinner with an ophthalmologist and he made me aware of eye health and eye care, I had no idea. All right, women, I have to get to some training. And... Um, I shall talk to you guys. I'm going to get the thumbnail out today for Monday. All right. Have a beautiful weekend ahead, and I'll see everyone Monday, 1030 Central. Bye.